Hey, it's me, Josiah, and welcome to... Oh, I have mittens. Hey, it's me, Josiah, and welcome to the 15th day of Coco Summer. As you can see, it's actually snowing out today, and it's actually kind of a perfect day for snowballs. Fun fact. I miss. Anywho, snowing out. It's kind of beautiful, and I thought, you know, why not change the scenery? So when I made all the French press stuff, I was kind of trying different milks. One of the milks I tried was half and half, which, as you know from before, is half cr uh, cream or half milk. So I was thinking, what happens if we went just full cream today? So as you can see here, we got the heavy cream heavy whipping cream and we're gonna try to french press this and see how it goes so without further ado let's head inside and make that cocoa hey yo it's me the voice from up above right back at you with another cocoa memo today i thought i would talk about snow and one of my favorite activities of snow sledding so as a kid growing up i would always hit the slopes and actually at my house we had a little sledding hill where my friends and i would you know we would run up from our front yard and run as fast as we can and then jump on our sleds and see how far we could make it through the, uh, my backyard there was one time where i was wrestling with my friend around seventh grade and i tackled him at some point and I accidentally broke his pinky. So I, those were rough days, man. It was, it was a, it's a bad day to be Josiah, but you know, it was all fun and games. So it wasn't too bad. Alrighty. So here we are with our hot cocoa. And of course, as a typical French press uh, cocoa, it's very light, has a very light uh, color to it. And yeah, it looks pretty smooth and creamy, but the only way to really find out is to try it. So let's go do that. Ooh. Wow. I think this might be the best French press yet. Ooh. No, this is really, really good. This is like... So, I mean, it matches the same French press criteria. So it has that froth up top that light froth and then underneath it it has that smooth uh richer hot chocolate i can really taste the cream kind of enriching enriching and making that bottom layer like a deeper deeper fuller all around whole layer and it really accentuates the difference the contrast really accentuates the hot chocolate and makes it really really good you know as far as the Coco Sumber rating, I think this is a 10 out of 10. I mean, this is like the best you can get for just a like normal cup of hot cocoa. Yeah, no, it deserves a 10 out of 10. At first I'm like, well, it doesn't really have anything extra on it. And you know, maybe you give it like a 9.5, but no, this deserves a 10 out of 10. It's phenomenal. The contrast, it's just the contrast of the light froth and the rich cream of the normal hot cocoa Ooh, it blends in so well Ooh, well that's it for today um i hope you enjoyed today it kind of a different different scenario different environment but hey it's a lot of fun if it's snowing where you are enjoy the snow drive safe of course but I might even do some sledding today, who knows. Without further ado, I hope you have a great Thursday, a great start to your third week of December and Coco Sember for me. And as always, stay Coco, my friends.